this historic house was set to be demolished in the 1970s to make room for an interstate, but today it's a beautifully unique rest stop and welcome center for the state of Kentucky. This week we are visiting Whitehaven in Paducah, Kentucky, and the interstate bypassed it, but not by much. That is I-24 headed to Nashville. The original structure of this house was a two-story brick house that was 40 by 50, so about 4,000 square feet, and it had eight rooms and there was a kitchen to the back. It was built from 1859 to 1865 by Edward L. Anderson, and he was a tobacco farmer. The bricks were made right here on the property, and this area of town was full of these Victorian farmhouses, and quite a few have been saved. Paducah is a town that certainly embraces their older buildings. In 1903, it was sold to Edward Atkins, who was a cashier for the German American Bank. The property was purchased for $4,000. Atkins commissioned architect A.L. Lassiter and asked him to turn this simple Victorian farmhouse into a glorious classical revival home. According to the National Register of Historic Places Inventory Nomination Form, the most startling change made to the house was the addition of a grand Corinthian columned front portico. A new classical front door was added with a flat Corinthian top and beveled glass windows. A balcony was installed above the entryway and extensive use of stained glass was used in the house. The most elaborate window was installed above the staircase landing with the date 1903 placed in it. Elaborate plaster ceilings were installed in each of the downstairs room and the front hallway, and a mantle with the word Whitehaven carved into it was installed in one of the front parlors. When the restoration of Whitehaven was announced, this mantle was returned and it's now installed in the music room. The exterior of the house was painted white for the first time and the house was called Whitehaven. We are on the west side of the building, and in 1908, the property, which included 57 acres, was purchased by James P. Smith, and he was the mayor of Paducah. The cost was $7,000 cash. The Smiths renamed the estate Bidawi, which translates to come rest a while. The area between the main house and the kitchen was enclosed, and the Smiths also added additional rooms to the rear of the structure because they had six children. The attic was converted to a playroom. All in all, they added over 2,000 more square feet. This is the rest area, which used to be the kitchen, and as you can see, it's just like most rest areas, but when I was in here, I found these photographs of the condition that this building used to be in. The Smith's daughter, Elizabeth, was the last family member to leave the property. She left in 1968. At that time, everyone thought that the house would be demolished to make way for Interstate 24. Fortunately, the interstate bypassed the house by less than half a mile. While the building was saved, the caretakers removed all the expensive interior woodwork and the ornate stained glass windows. By the late 1970s, Bidawee was vacant and dilapidated. Vandals moved in and the interior was further damaged. Every window and mirror was broken and graffiti littered the walls. Rain and snow also damaged the structure further. In 1980, when I was just a kid, my dad was looking for a property to renovate and he brought me up here and I remember being incredibly scared of this place. It was like walking into a haunted house. There was a lot of graffiti, glass and rotten wood was all over the floor and most of the walls had massive holes. This is the east side and that is a brick carriage house that is used for storage and that carport was added by the Smiths. Mrs. Smith and her daughter Elizabeth were enthusiastic gardeners and they tended to extensive formal gardens and they would host beautiful garden parties. And this is a concrete storm shelter that was built by Mr. Smith in the 1940s. Not only is Western Kentucky subject to earthquakes, they also get a lot of tornadoes. In 1981, the Smith family sold the property to Paducah Community College, which is just west of Whitehaven. Also in 1981, the state of Kentucky allocated funds for a rest area in Paducah, and the Secretary of Transportation secured funds for a total restoration of Bidawee, now renamed Whitehaven, and it opened in 1983. 
and of course it's said to be haunted. According to ScaryHQ.com, a female apparition has occasionally been sighted on the balcony attached to a second floor bedroom, and it's believed to be Edward Atkins' wife, Grace. Legend has it that she bled to death during an appendectomy, and she has been known to turn off lights in that room, and the sound of long skirts swishing, as well as the scent of her perfume has been noted. My cousin used to be a groundkeeper here, and he will attest that this place is haunted. Thanks for joining me on my visit to Whitehaven today. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I certainly did. And as always, I will see you all next week. Bye now.